Greetings from the Garden of Eden. It is the golden hour, the sunset end of the day here in the Garden of Eden. And it is the dead of winter. And obviously here in Texas, the winters are not the worst in the world. I know that up in North Dakota or Michigan, for example, it's, you know, probably about zero degrees. But here in the Garden of Eden, uh, not only do we have all sorts of crops that are in greenhouses, but even still here in the dead of the winter, we have crops that are abundantly available, of which are not necessarily totally wild in the sense that we did sort of plant them and cultivate them. But, you know, really honestly, we're wild crafting them. We don't you know, really take care of them to much of a degree. They're not inside of a greenhouse. We're not even watering them or anything. And as you can see right here, I'm next to a whole row, big, huge row of these sort of wild onions. I mean, this is like hundreds, if not thousands of onions. And it's really amazing because, like I said, we're basically doing almost nothing. Um, we've cultivated super, super rich, abundant soil, which is the key to all abundant crops. Um, you know, and we've established, you know, various, uh, you know, drainage techniques to allocate water and stuff like that. But we're, we're not actively watering any of these. We don't have a greenhouse on any of these and we're here in the middle of the winter time and they're still abundantly available. So these green tops right here in and of themselves are harvestable and they're edible and they're quite delicious. You know, kind of like a chive basically. You know, they've got like a definite sweetness to them. But they've also got sort of that onion that onion or garlic bite, which is really nice. So, I mean, these are fantastic. You know, we slice these up and put them on mashed potatoes or, you know, sauteed veggies or, you know, in salads. I mean, there's just so many ways you can use them. Uh, so that's amazing. That's really fantastic. Just the greens in them themselves are nice. But then, if you really dig down, hey buddy. Yeah, got a little buddy joining us here. Yeah. He's just learning to speak and he knows how to say da, which means dada, daddy. Yeah. Right, buddy? Love to adventure and explore. So yeah, as you can see when I pull them out here, you know, they're sort of, they're like, uh, you know, kind of wild green onions here in a way. It's uh, basically what they are and the whole plant, the whole plant is entirely edible. Super delicious and obviously these ones are probably quite a bit more delicious. These ones are probably quite a bit more delicious than the uh, ones from the store, but you know, they're pretty similar to a green onion from the store. And here we are in the dead of winter in the Garden of Eden with no irrigation, you know, no greenhouse, you know, really no special care whatsoever, no weeding or anything. And they are just like abundantly thriving. And I'm finally coming to the end of this winter bounties of the land. And I got a little boy here who's, I guess, getting a little tired and a little jealous of the camera. He says, hey, why are you playing with the camera and not me? Hey, that's my daddy. So here we are. Hope this inspires you to connect with the land and embrace and appreciate the bounties of the land and nature itself as it truly does provide everything that is important and life is pure potential. Bye bye. Bye-bye. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Hmm?
Yeah. Bye-bye. Steam on. Bless.